Hi, today we're going to look at two-digit multiplication with and without arrays. Let's look at our first example. Here we have 8 times 14. So we can imagine a rectangle that is 8 units by 14 units. And we know the area of that rectangle is 8 times 14, one side times the other side. And if I draw the grid inside, you can see this is 8. And I split 14 into 10 and 4. Why did I do that? Because multiplying by 10 is easy. 10 is a round number. A anything times 10, you just add a 0. So 8 times 10 is the area of this section, this rectangle. And that's 80. I put it here. And you can see it here too. So this is 8. Remember, this is 10. 8 times 10 is 80. And the next rectangle is 8 on this side and 4 on this side. 8 times 4 is 32. And this is 8 times 4 here, so 32. If I add these two results, I should get the area of the big rectangle. And the answer is 112 because I added 80 and 32. Let's move on to our next example, a little bit more difficult. Both of them are two-digit numbers, small two-digit numbers, but I'll show you how it's done. We're going to split 14 into 10 and 4, and we're going to split 12 into 10 and 2. Always we do the big rectangle first, because it's easier. Here we have 10 times 10. This side is 10. This side is 10. You can see up here, 10 times 10. That's 100, and I put it here. Uh, this is 2 times 10, 2 and 10 and I get 20. The next rectangle, I, I should get 4 times 10, or 10 times 4, that's 40. And the last rectangle is the smallest one, and I get 2 times 4, and the answer is 8. When I add all these answers, I should get the area of the big rectangle. So 140, 160, 168. Now a lot of people can do this in their head, use the same method but they visualize that rectangle and do the calculation in their head. Um, they use the same technique or a variation of this technique. So here our answer is 168. Our next example 14 times 23. So here I have 14 I split it into 10 and 4. 10 plus 4 is 14. 23, I have 20 and 3. It's easy. 23. Okay, 23. You split the 1s from the 10s. Now, basically all you're doing is drawing two lines. And these are imaginary lines. Okay, you just label so you know. Remember this is 10, which means this is 10, right? which means this is 10. Okay, it's important to know that. So remember, this is 20, which means this is 20. So this rectangle is 10 by 20. So the answer for the area of this rectangle is 200. So that's 10 times 20, 200. Next rectangle, I get 4 here and 20 there. 4 times 20 is 80. And the next rectangle is here. I get 10. Remember, this is 10. I'm going to show you. This is 10. And here we have 3. See that? That's 3, right? 10 times 3, or 3 times 10, is 30. And my last rectangle, I have 3 times 4. You can see this is 4, and that's 3. And that's uh, the answer, 12. When I add these numbers, I should get the answer, which is 322. And that's the answer. A lot of people, again, can do this in their head, uh, quick calculations, uh, by imagining uh, this. So let's move on to our next example, a little more difficult. We have 34 and 52. Now, same idea. We split the ones from the tens, 34 and 52. 
too. Now, again, I didn't uh, draw any grids. You shouldn't do that. It takes too long. It's you just draw a quick um, sketch like this, one rectangle. You split it into um, four sections, and they don't have to be perfect. So here it's my thirty four and fifty two. So thirty times fifty. So remember thirty. Uh, 3 times 5 is 15 and I have two zeros I can do that okay and 4 times 50 is 200 and here we have 2 I have 30 here and I have 2 there so that's uh, 60 and I have 2 times 4 here which is 8 I add these up, so that's 1500, 1700, 1768, 1768. And let's actually use a calculator to see our, if our answers are correct. I'm going to use a calculator here. So 34, it's always good to check. It doesn't hurt. You can see our answer is correct here. You see that? So um, I could have done this in my head, but I wanted to show you how it's done. So let's move on to our next example. Now, a lot of times um, it's faster to do, to do it this way. This is called the algorithm way. Basically, you follow step-by-step uh, -step, uh, instructions to do it. So how do we do that? Um, and most people do it this way. So first you stack the numbers like that so you put 56 on the top uh, the second number on the bottom make sure the ones are uh, st stacked up like this lined up and the tens are lined up they have to be like that it's very important now first we're going to multiply the ones here by this number so that's why i'm just going to ignore four so that's important for you to remember i'm going to ignore Four. And here we have 8 times 6, it's 48. So that's 48. I'm going to put 4 here. I'm going to carry the 4 over there. 8 times 5 is 40, and 4 is 44. Now, because I used this, I'm just going to cross it out. That means I used it up. Now I'm going to use a different color so I don't get mixed up. Um, let's see. And remember, now I'm going to ignore this one because I already used it up. What is this? This is not 4, this is 40. So it's important that I remember that and 40 has a 0 in front of it. So I'm going to put the 0 here. It's 4 tens. This is 0 for the 10. So 4 times 6 is 24. You put the 4 here and carry the 2 here, 24. 4 times 5 is 20 and 2 is 22. So you write, remember, ones lined up, tens lined up, hundreds lined up, and so on. Now we add these two numbers. So again, let me switch colors. I'm going to use yellow this time. So the answer is 8 here, 8 here, 4 plus 2 is 6, and 2,688. Uh, let's move on to another example this time I'm going to go faster so here we are remember what we said um, ignore the tens first at the bottom so you multiply in the bottom number um, against the top numbers so 1 times 39 is 39 I can just write 39 so that's easy to do make sure everything is lined up now I'm going to ignore 1 and multiply five but this is not five it's 50 so remember to put the zero five times nine is 45 so five and that's four four times sorry five times three is 15 and four is 19 now you're going to add these two numbers up add them up and you get nine three and five is eight i get nine here and nine a one there, 1,989. And let's look at 
our last example so same idea we ignore this the tens from the bottom number so we multiply the ones so four times three twelve carry the one four times seven is 28 but we have a one there we have to add it 28 plus one is nine just I used it up so I don't want to use it again here I have 60 so I put the zero first now pretend it's six now six times three is 18 carry the one six times seven 42 plus one 43 make sure everything is lined up properly that's really important ones tens hundreds and thousands so we add it all up 217 carry the one six and the answer is four thousand six hundred seventy two all right so and I think that would should be enough for today and thank you so much for watching and practice it takes a, a bit of practice to master this so don't give up at first it might be a little bit uh, confusing or too many steps you just have to keep at it you just keep practicing and at the end it will be easy for you 